Hello everybody, welcome back to another video today. In today's video, it's going to be a first of a few videos uh, showcasing what I got for Christmas. And yeah, let's begin. And this is diecast um, video. There's going to be also the plush video I told you about and and those other things that are really special. So yeah, all of it's special, but the most, you know, important, the most satisfying of them all. So yeah, I'm going to show you... Um, some diecast now from Hot Wheels to NASCARs to to Sonic stuff. You get what I'm trying to say here. So we're going to start off with a 2021 car. And it's Michael McDowell's um, Bill Elliott um, throwback. And it's really cool to have another Michael McDowell car. This car looks gorgeous as heck. Looks lovely. I'm glad to have another Michael McDowell car. Now the other five are next gen cars, so let's start off with Corey LaJoy's uh, Sluter Systems, a uh, Camaro, this one's a Ford Mustang, and this one's for driven for Front Row Motorsports, this one's driven driven for um, Spire Motorsports. Really cool to have a, an underfunded team diecast. We're getting Josh Bullicky's car too, getting made, so both Spire cars for the second year in a row. At least one of them will be made, so that's that's cool. And there was no, you know, Circle B diecast involvement this time, so that's that's just uh, that's just cool. This one's probably 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 my most favorite one. It's Ricky Stenhouse Jr.'s Kroger Irish Spring Camaro for JTD Doherty Racing. Really happy to have this car. Finally, we got a Stenhouse car after all these years in the 164 for JTD Doherty Racing. I don't know why it took them this long to make one, but I'm just thankful and glad this one has gotten made. Next up is Harrison Burton's um, uh, Dex Imaging Ford Mustang for the Wood Brothers, the Mustang. This car also looks nice. It gives me, you know, the 80s uh, Wood Brothers vibes. With a Sitco sponsorship from like the early 90s, late 80s. You get what I'm trying to say here. It looks like that. Next up is Brad Kozlowski's uh, Kohler Systems or Kohler Generators car. And as you can see this one, Ford Mustang for RFK, Rush, Fenway, Kozlowski. And as you can see, that has the foil numbers. So that's pretty damn cool. I love the uniqueness of these cars right here. It looks... It looks so cool. And last up is Noah Gregson's uh, Wendy's car, uh, the Chev the Camaro for um, Beard Motorsports, their very first diecast ever made. So that's really cool to know that. So, and got nothing to say other, other than I, I love Wendy's. And now let's go on to some, some like four or five packs. First up we got uh, the Dover Sweep. Uh, this one's on the diecast in Metal Chassis body. This is um, the Dover Sweep from when and Henrik Motorsports finished 1, 2, 3, 4. And this is really cool. Let's go to the back end of the car, end of the box, and you can see you can see uh, Chase Elliott, so William Byron, Rick Hendrick, Kyle Larson, and, and Alex Bowman all standing there. I didn't know how short, the, how short Kyle Larson was till now. Jeez, that's crazy. <laughs> All right, and the next one we got, the last one for NASCAR cars is, um, just, just going to move this stuff out of the way. I don't want to have it spoiled for you guys. Just putting it back here. It's Kyle Busch's five-pack, um, five-win set from Xfinity from, from last year. Got all those five wins of more Toyota Supras. Just it looks so good. These ones are raced versions. I like these ones. I wish the, these ones were raced version. That way they'd be true exclusives. Here's the back end of the box. Looks really cool. All right, now let's go on to the Hot Wheels. First up, we got um, from the Hot Wheels is a Bugatti. Um, Bugatti uh, E. B 110 SS from 1994 very unique car I bet you this this thing is worth a value worth worth something now kind of like worth a fortune I can guarantee you that next up 
We got a Lotus. A Lotus uh, Evija. I, I don't know how to say that. Looks really unique. Just wait a minute. Did I get this car before? <laughs> okay. I don't know. Man. Was there a different one? Yeah, I, I think I think I might be mistaken, guys. I don't know if this is the actual car, but I think it's from Christmas. I could be wrong, though. <laughs> so we got that. I just noticed that till now. Um, I might have had one car mixed up with the other. I probably had this car and and mine screw mixed up with this one. I thought I don't know. This is Pagani, uh, Pagani Zonda. At R looks really cool. All right, last, last. Uh, there's actually a couple more, uh, a few more. In fact, if they, if they can stay upright. Um. Uh, this is a Coenzeg, a Coenzeg um, Gemera. It's an orange car. Look, I literally thought it was a Lamborghini at first. No, it's not. It's a Coenzeg. And now onto the American-made cars. Here's a classic one. Classic. Here's two classic ones. Uh, a 1970 um, um, Chevelle SS wagon for Chevrolet. This thing looks beautiful. And the last one we got from the Hot Wheels is... Um, a 1963 Stud Baker Champ. I don't know if this is American or not, but I think it's. I think it is. Now onto the two, the two Sonic cars. We got Shadow. Here's a um, a Shadow um cart diecast, and well, I'll get the others in a second. But and then here's the last one. It's it's silver. So yeah, and. I got the others so I could do a stop motion with, with them. I got Tails, um, a Knuckles, and where's Sonic? There he is. There's Sonic. So I could do a stop motion with these five, with these five dudes. Expect that one coming out soon. So yeah, this is, um, this is the diecast hole video. That one doesn't count over there because I had this one for a while. So yeah, that one doesn't count. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.